Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be about probably the biggest trend right now in fashion and that is sneaker. So I have several pairs to share with y'all. Let's chat, which ones are worth it? Which ones do I have and love? Which ones do I have and don't love? Let's find out. So today's video is in partnership with Greats. They are an Italian made luxury sneaker brand. We'll learn more about them when we dive in. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and dive in. I wanted to go ahead and get started with the two pair of sneakers that I have from Greats. It also happens to correlate with the fact that I really wanted to talk to you guys in regards to price points. Start with the most affordable and go up to the most expensive. And these are definitely the most affordable of the group that I'm gonna talk with you about. These are the Royal Knit. These retail for $119. One of the great things that I love about this particular pair of shoes from Greats is the knit version of their shoes is equivalent to seven plastic bottles. Their whole mission is to end ocean plastic and to basically just get rid of single use plastic. So I really love that about not only the brand, but this particular pair of sneakers. So like I said, these retail for 119. I also, just while we're talking about greats, I do want to mention these are the original Royale. They're an all leather Italian made sneaker. I love these as well. The sneaker trend has been around for a bit, but one of the things about the sneaker trend is most of the sneakers already have that distressed look and I know a lot of you guys are not a fan of that and that is actually why I love these. They give a very, very clean look. There's something about them that are super polished. So if you're looking for a pair of sneakers that you can wear, with dressier options without that distressed look. These are actually my favorite. They all do run true to size. So I would get your true to size in both the full leather version as well as the knit version. I tend to gravitate towards the white sneakers and my wardrobe, that's just my preference, but there were several different colors in both of these sneaker options from greats. I'll link them down below, of course. If you're looking for a good quality, you don't wanna sacrifice quality, but you also don't wanna break the bank. These are definitely the best. The quality of these are amazing. They're Italian made. They're, the brand is also amazing. I, there's something about supporting a brand that you know that they're doing their part for this planet, this earth. And I think that's amazing that they're really trying to make a difference and they already are making a difference with the single use plastic and utilizing it for their knit line specifically. As far as comfort, both of these sneakers are very, very comfortable from the get-go. Obviously the knit are gonna have a completely different feel whenever you're walking around in them, but for an all leather sneaker, I was really impressed with the fact that the way that they made these, the way that they're, you can feel that there is a little bit of an interior. It's super, super soft and it moves with your foot great, which you'll see in some of the sneakers that I share with you guys that are full leather, that is not always the case. So they managed to make a full leather sneaker sneaker completely comfortable from the get-go. So again, if you're looking for, you're wanting to wear this trend, but you don't wanna break the bank, but you also don't wanna sacrifice quality, these are the way to go. I'll link them all down below for y'all. Next up, I wanted to chat about the Veja sneakers. I'm probably saying that wrong, so if I am, I apologize. These are made in Brazil. They do run slightly big, so I did go down to a 36. I am typically a six and a half, so keep that in mind. I'll, of course, put all that information in the info box. I really fell in love with the look of these sneakers, which is why I purchased them. I saw them on a couple of different celebrities, and it inspired me to go and purchase them for myself. They were $150, so again, you know, it's still in the more affordable range when you're talking about this luxury sneaker trend, but I have gotten a ton of questions about the comfort of these shoes. So right away, I will admit the tongue is very, very stiff. So what I have done is when I'm wearing them, I actually move the tongue over to the side and that has almost eliminated the stiffness that you get from the tongue. It doesn't completely take it away, but it helps a lot. It really makes the shoe more wearable, and I don't think it looks bad. It really doesn't bother me, as you can see. I think it looks completely fine. But I will say, I took these sneakers with me to New York when I was traveling, and so we walked all around the city, and I wore them on the plane the first day, and I did, after several hours, they did start to rub on my feet. So I don't, I mean, I wouldn't say that out of the bunch, these are the most comfortable, but I still really enjoy these sneakers. I think they're a great price point. They have started to wear a little bit more than I was expecting, but again, I think they're a cute shoe. They're a little bit old school. They remind me of an old, like, tennis shoe. There's something kind of old school about them that I think is really nice and fun, but 
I just wanted to talk with you about them because they are in my collection and I definitely would recommend them. I just think they are not as comfortable as I would have preferred. Next up are my P448. So these are Italian made as well. And I specifically bought these because I heard they were very, very comfortable. And I am happy to report that they are. They're super, super comfortable. And I do find myself grabbing and gravitating towards these when I just want something really easy, something slip on, and I just want comfort. These are great. I don't wear socks with them. I do not tie them. So what I do is I actually just knotted the loops here and they just work. They're really, really great for slip-ons. My one complaint about these is they do look a little chunky. I do think that they are a little bit wide in my opinion. So if you have narrow feet, really, really skinny feet, these may not work for you. Or if you don't like the look of a chunkier sneaker, these may not be your vibe either. I still love these, but these, again, these are gonna have that distressing. So if you don't like the distressing, these are not gonna be for you. Out of all of the P448s that I saw out there, there are a ton of different options, by the way. These were my favorite just because they were the least crazy in my opinion. They're just basically like a white sneaker. I'll link them down below for y'all. There's very minimal distressing. There's not anything happening on them. They're just basically a simple pl like plain sneaker. That is just what I prefer when it comes to this trend. So like I said, I do love these. I do wear these. These are very, very comfortable. But if you're looking for a little bit more of a clean lined look, something a little bit like thinner and these are not gonna be your thing. They're a little bit chunky, but I still really, really like these. Next up is my Golden Goose sneakers. I feel like this is the brand that really, really blew up and made this trend, like put this trend on the map recently. Like obviously we've been wearing sneakers for years, but we haven't really been wearing crazy, distressed, look like they're 10 year old sneakers for very long, right? That's not usually like, Denim is one thing, but sneakers, that's not usually, that hasn't been a thing in that I'm aware of at least. So I purchased these, I don't know, se several months back. They were 475, 485, something like that. They're gonna range anywhere from 425 to over 500 I've even seen, which is crazy. So obviously for the price point, we're getting up there in my opinion into a part, which is hard. It's hard for people to spend this much money on a pair of sneakers when you have other amazing options that we've already talked about. I had really high expectations for these. I really did. I had high expectations for these, but then also I feel like realistic expectations for these. So I feel like one of my main requirements for a sneaker, keep in mind, a sneaker is comfort. And right away, it was very clear from these that they were not going to be comfortable. I am honestly blown away whenever people tell me that their Golden Goose sneakers are comfortable. Now, I have had people say that when they first bought them, no, they were not comfortable and they eventually got to be comfortable, which I get that, you can wear them in, that's fine. I still am not there yet and I feel like I've had mine for quite a while. Now, with that said, it doesn't mean that I don't wear them because I bought these, of course I'm going to wear them. I'm not gonna waste that money. And I do think they're cute. I do think they, they, they give like a different vibe. There are a ton of different options. So you can see I've got like this copper glitter here, which is really, really fun. The stressing. I also don't tie these. I just have them knotted on the side and let the laces kind of hang. I do slip these on. These are very, very difficult to wear socks with. So I'm gonna show you something. A lot of people may not know this. I've told people this about these sneakers and a lot of people do not know this. I feel like this is one of those things that it's once you figure it out and once you know about it, it's, it's kind of crazy and you're like, oh my goodness, it totally makes sense. The insole of these sneakers have a hidden wedge. So that is why your foot comes up so high off of the sneaker, making it very, very difficult to wear a sock with it because even the most no-show sock shows with these sneakers. I have heard people that have actually taken the insole out and putting just like their own insole or a regular insole to get rid of that art. But if you're wondering why your ankle comes up here from these shoes instead of like a little bit more down in or they're just, they feel like they're like falling off the shoe, it's because the arch actually starts right here. It's like a mini wedge that is inside these sneakers, which I just think is so funny that these have that. But again, they were probably going for their own little look and their own kind of fit, which is fine, understandable. This sneaker has everything that you would think that would make it comfortable, but it's not. It rubs 
very, very bad on the top of my foot. I did get these in a 36, I believe. Um, yes, a 36. Again, I'm a six and a half, so I think they do run a little bit big. When I ordered these, I ordered a 36, I ordered a 37, and the 37s, even when I tied them regular, my heel was slipping out. So I didn't have any other option other than to go with the 36, and I do think that the 36 fits perfectly. I can wear these and my foot doesn't slip out even whenever they're not tied. They it, they fit perfect. For some reason, I don't know why, but I don't love this sneaker tied. Even when I see other people wearing this sneaker tied, like actual like tied with a bow, I just think it like ruins the look for some reason. That's just my personal preference. But when it comes to these sneakers, I'm going to have to be honest, I kind of regret buying them. I think at this price point and I think at this price point, they should have been a sneaker that I was able to throw on and enjoy. But regardless of the price point, at the end of the day, these are sneakers that we are talking about and they should all be comfortable. I shouldn't have to own them and wear them for six months before they start to be comfortable. And I feel like I've had these for a few months and I've still got a ways to go. They're cute. I understand the draw with them, but I definitely will not be buying another pair of Golden Goose anytime soon. The last pair of sneakers that I want to chat with y'all about is actually the first pair of all of these sneakers that I purchased are these Gucci A sneakers. These run huge, you guys. I actually have these in a 35 and a half, which is an entire size down from my typical size. So they run really, really big. I definitely recommend going down a size. These retail for 585 I believe right around there 525 550 so they're definitely the most expensive of the bunch as well these in my opinion give off a bowling shoe vibe they make your foot look a lot longer and leaner and skinnier you can see they're definitely a more streamed line sneaker they're not distressed so if you don't love the distressing these might be for you but they're definitely not quiet they're definitely a louder shoe even though I feel like I got the softest print of the of the bunch of of the options of the Gucci sneakers you've obviously got a little red and green metallic happening you've got the Gucci web here mine have the B on it but they have different they have like ones with arrows they have different ones depending on like the look that you're going for so this definitely is a whole vibe in my opinion I do wear these I do enjoy wearing these I wear these with socks so I don't wear these without socks and they are comfortable I wouldn't say they're super super comfortable but they're comfortable they definitely require a a little bit of break-in they can be stiff at the beginning but not in not in the way that they're stiff that they're uncomfortable it's just a full leather sneaker so expect them to be a little bit stiffer than a typical like knit sneaker or a cloth sneaker but I have never had any rubbing with these I have never like my toes have never hurt or anything with these these have just been a great sneaker to reach for from time to time and of course since these are Gucci they are Italian made so you know the quality is there but of course you're paying for the Gucci name brand as well I mean that's kind of a given it's going to be quality but it's also partly for the name brand of Gucci, but that's also why we're at the highest price point of all the sneakers that I'm sharing with you guys today. I really enjoyed having these, these in my collection and I have noticed recently I've reached for them more, but I will say it did take me a while. After I bought them, I didn't reach for them a ton, but now that I've really fallen in love with the sneaker trend, I have found myself reaching for these a little bit more often recently. So I'm not 100% sure if I would repurchase these again, especially because I do have some other sneakers here that I think the quality is just as amazing as these, but the price point is better. And I know not everybody wants to spend $600 on a pair of sneakers. If you really say that out loud, it's kind of crazy. I guess it really just depends on your preference. Are you wanting the quality or are you wanting a name brand? Are you wanting both? I feel like all of the shoes that I've shown you, the quality is there, but I also feel like you want quality, but you don't want to break the bank. And you also want to make sure they are comfortable. I would say that these are a comfortable sneaker, but I wouldn't say they're the most comfortable of the bunch. So I think in summary, it is safe to say that you don't have to spend a lot of money to get a quality sneaker. Whether you're wanting to wear the trend right now, you're wanting a class of sneaker that you can wear for years to come, you don't have to break the bank. I also think that this video shares with you guys that just because you do spend a lot of money doesn't mean that the comfort is going to be there. And in my opinion, comfort is key. If you do not have a comfortable sneaker, who is going to reach? Who's going to reach for a non-comfortable sneaker? I, I know I'm not. I just can't think of anybody that's like, I know I want to wear those very uncomfortable sneakers over there today all day long. That just doesn't happen. So in my opinion, when you're looking for a sneaker, I think comfort 
is the most important. Next is quality. Well, I mean, I feel like they're kind of they're kind, they're kind of the same, right? But I also think that you don't have to break the bank. I feel like I've shared with you guys several pairs of sneakers. And then of course, I just really fell in love with this greats brand. When I learned a lot more about this brand and what they stand for, it's just such, an, a break, such a great brand to stand behind and to support. So like I said, I'll put links to everything down below. Thanks again to greats for sponsoring today's video. And I will see y'all in the next one. Talk to you soon.